gotta sing the doom song now. Doom, 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 Proximity warning. Planet ahead. Grr! We're here! We're finally here! Fuck off, I'm ill. No, really, fuck off. Stop listening to it. Go away. Oh, all right. That's harsh, dude. I'm ill. Don't care. And you don't have the common yeah. decency to wear a surgical mask around us two. No. You're a douchebag. I like to share. If I've got it, you're going to get it. Hello, good morning, good evening, good night. Welcome to the lock-in. My face is full of snot and I'm ready to die. With me today is two healthy... Specimens of humanity. Healthy. Reasonably healthy. Yeah, dumb. Bastard humanity. <laughs> Grrr. <coughs> um, <coughs> to our left is... It's me, it's Stuart Dark Ages. I've got a mouthful of nuts. Put them in your mouth and suck them. Did it, did it, did it. I'm Put them in your mouth and... Ow. <laughs> and to my right is... Chaos Envy. Hello. Hi. I'm not doing it today. No, you're too ill. I am. Um, I just can't be bothered. It's okay. So, no. Mm-hmm. 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 AKA! Dear God in heaven, chaos envy. Uh, that's it. That's all. I'm done. Are you okay. sure? I think so. You don't feel the one coming on. Well, maybe just the list of questions. Okay. Sure, I'm sure best not to. <laughs> not promising anything. Not I promising do. anything whatsoever. So, I was used to. Married. We're not ill. Bastards. I'm tired from work, but I'm, I'm good. <coughs> I'm, I'm dying. I'm not tired yet, but I will be by the end of the week. <coughs> you got a busy week up. Yeah. Six days in a row. I'm having one day. I've had my one day off this week. <laughs> yeah, I've got six days on, four days off, 12 days on, two days off. Nice. nice. So, five days, two days off, five days, two days off, five days, two days off. For the rest of my life, by the looks of it. <laughs> oh, well, at least you can plan. Oh, yeah. So, if everyone's okay and everyone's ready to get going and gear in and ready to party like there's no tomorrow, hang like on, it's on, 1999. Hang on, hang on, I better check. Yes. You ready? Mr. I'm never ready, I just wing it. Ah, wing, eh? Like axe. <laughs> it's a stupid name. For a robot. <gasps> stupid grumble. Stupid Crumble. Stupid Grumble? Oh, Stupid Grumble. I was going to say, if there wasn't anybody in that issue called Crumble. <laughs> Could have been. It's like Rumble's gay brother. <laughs> He's very fruity. Got right in a bumble, because here comes Crumble. Ooh. Ooh, yeah. Is he friends with Wheelie? <laughs> um, yeah. With the rhyming. Yeah. And Blaster. Shattered glass versions of all of them. They all go to nightclubs together. Dressed in leather. Oh, stop there. Please. They're all hellbent. <sighs> hellbent for leather. Hellbent. Stop hell there. Bent for leather. Stop there. Right. No Judas Priest today. No. All right. So let's get going. Let's get this party started. Let's get ready to <gasps> rock. Mr. Stew. Mr. Rob. What did we own now that we may have owned last week if the entire universe had shifted back one week last week? Huh? Huh? Oh. Are you talking them crazy words again? He using words with more than two silly, silly, silly... Um, two of them silly things. Yeah. I don't understand what's coming no. out of your mouth, boy. <coughs> Spittle. <laughs> God, Phlegm. 
I actually got quite Dinner. good hauls because I got given stuff. Yes. Free yes, stuff is always good stuff. Mm-hmm. Shall, we, stuff. shall we run through what you were given? I was given... Um, a reach around. Yes. <laughs> it was nice. <laughs> it's but common courtesy. <laughs> they, uh, they didn't want my hand first, so I was, uh, I was a little put off. Uh, I got a world's smallest snarl. Grr. Mm-hmm. I also got a um, three, three and three quarter, or <coughs> are they a bit bigger? I think they're maybe three and three quarter uh, size uh, Gundams from the movie. Um, I got uh, Gundam Death Scythe Hell Custom. Mm-hmm. That's a mouthful. And uh, Wing Gundam Custom. Wing. The one that had the the wings, surprisingly. Oh, don't explain the name. Mm-hmm. Um, I also got a... can't remember what line it's from, but it's one of those little... Um, Statue-esque things. They've got very little articulation. The uh, Takara PVC collection. Yeah, and it's uh, a little hot <coughs> rod holding the Matrix as he's opening it. Ooh, it's quite nice. It's um, I did also buy some stuff recently during a trip, but none of it was for me. We'll we'll uh, we'll go through the trip later, on, I think. What what did you buy though? Do I have to? Yeah. Yep. Say it. I Feel bought, the pain. I bought some animated stuff for my wife because she's collecting it. It was a Voyager class ratchet. Deluxe. Deluxe. I thought you meant the um, one you got. Mm. It's a deluxe class say Voyager class ratchet. Ratchet hell. with my Sorry, with who? With, 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 what, sorry? With Mama. With Bumblebee. <laughs> Furnace eye on that bumblebee. And, I don't. Um, I do. Oh, I got a Voyager class. Block. <coughs> yeah. Because I kind of wanted him to. The group looks a cool figure. Did you do what I said you were going to do with it? When you got him out of the package. Um. I bet you didn't. I did notice something on him. No. Um, just bear with me a second. There may be some photographical evidence here. There is some photographical evidence. Um, so just bear with me a sec. So why are you saying between you and Becca, and neither one of you ran round the house while he was in dino mode, making his jaws open because going, Cause I'm drunk, bad! Uh, I don't have it. It's, 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 been, it's been deleted. I did, actually, I did actually sit there as soon as I got him out, got my phone, and just went. Cause I trucks burn. See, it's not just me then. Yes. Nature, good. Stupid nature. <laughs> Shit on <coughs> Dino Bot's head. Grr. Why, boy, hit my nose. <laughs> really, say it might be gay. <laughs> mm, me Grimlock gonna runs away. <laughs> <laughs> you get trip if I get chip. Get away. Can I eat him now? Wrong world. Yeah. You're fool, I say. Go for it. <laughs> oh, is it my turn? If you wanted to be. Oh, boys, I, I should have written this down. We could let Rob continue if you wanted. Well, it depends if Rob's got anything No, that, to say. that was it. That don't care, there's nothing else. Continue. Make stuff up. Let's, let's hear about the Lego collection you bought this week. Um, I bought <coughs> 250 of the single character uh, things. The Lego uh, skeletons. Any goals? <laughs> uh, yeah, they're all white. Because uh-huh. um, I'm going to send them back in time to myself before I got married, so that we can have the original idea for the um, the center pieces of the tables, which is going to be a clear square um, glass, mm-hmm. obviously filled with sand and dirt for like a little plant thing. And I was going to put loads of those Lego skeletons in to make it look like there was dead bodies underground. Wow. Nice. But I, I I couldn't find them in time to do that idea, so it became the fairy and dragon snow globes instead. Did so. you know? Oh, here we Sorry, go actually, again. it wasn't going to be one of them, but I just realised it should have been. But did you know the local toys and hobby shop sells single Lego men by themselves? I know. That, that's quite They're all blind bought, though. So. Yeah. 
Still quite tempting. <laughs> have to go in with like 30 quid. Give me your Lego men. We have a... Um... Oh, but did you know called? Rob owns all the red six... No, bl- blicks, bricks in the world. Yes. That's how this house was built. <laughs> You'd think so sometimes. <laughs> um... <coughs> no, the um, we've got in in work. Uh, we've only got one, mm-hmm. but it's like a Halo um, Mega Block. Is it Mega Block? Yeah, it's Mega Block. It's a clicky thing together. Uh, but it's it's like a a random one. You don't know which one you get in the ah. pack. It's like one ninety nine. I'm so tempted. Hmm. If I actually had one ninety nine, you know, it'd be bought. Ouch. Eek. Mr. Stewart. Mr. Stu. What has Mr. Stu got that he didn't have this week? Mr. Stu yeah. should have written this down because I've actually had a really good haul. Yeah. Um, so on the <coughs> Friday with a certain trip that we'll discuss in a bit, I got the steel, the Riser Cobra Steel Crusher with Nitro Viper. Yep. The Riser Cobra Cobra Gunship with Firefly. It wasn't going to be Firefly, it was just going to be Aero Viper. Um, and the Crimson Hydra with Aero Viper. I also got two... Um, Neo Vipers from Rise of Cobra. Mm-hmm. I got a second <laughs> Rise of Cobra Night Raven. Um, <laughs> this morning Talk I. Talk to me when you have 13 of them. Well, I'm getting there. Um, <laughs> this morning I got my Snow Serpent Officer. Oh, cool. Oh, sorry, yesterday morning even. Um, cool. I got my Snow Serpent Officer. Um, I'm going to mention this even though they haven't arrived yet because it is mental. I bought a Cobra Eco Warriors septic tank. <laughs> So that means I have a bright orange and green hiss tank on this way, <laughs> as well as a dude to drive it. Um, and I also finally got my drift. Yay! Chunk of awesome. Hey, he's decent. I want to know more about the septic tank. <laughs> it, was, it was less than a tenner with postage, <laughs> and it's all Logan Blaze's fault. And, and Timey, and Andy, because they were <coughs> bullying me into it. On Skype. They, they may have been bullying you into it, but you know as well as I do that the moment you see Neon... It doesn't have to be neon. It, weak. it has yeah. to be crazy ass neon. That's the septic tank. Yep, you just can't help yourself. It's like if you saw a uh, Action Master Thundercracker. If you saw it, can't help yourself. Yeah. You, you just wouldn't be able to stop yourself. Ooh. Yeah, mate, that's terrible. Yeah, it's quite scary how much you love things that are shit. With me or him or both? They're yeah, both. <laughs> Today I was ranting to my security guard about how good Street Fighter the film is <laughs> because it's terrible. <laughs> oh, that's a point. You can't have a go at me for loving bad things when you have your own show that's all about reviewing films so shit they're great. It's got a point. Yeah, but you do also love those films. That's beside the point. Don't you start arguing some semantics with me. I will argue semantics if I want to. Just because logic is so goddamn logical doesn't mean that you get to <laughs> use it. Of course. <laughs> it, aye. <laughs> Oh, I also got um, Last Stand of the Wreckers trade paperback. Ah. And it's pretty freaking sweet. It As is. did I. And it is fucking awesome. Mm. You also got Drift 2. Mmm. Shiny. <coughs> <coughs> I also got Last Stand of the Wreckers. And what did you also get this month then? Last this Stand week, of the Wreckers. I should say. Last Stand of the Wreckers. That's what it cares about. Uh. I bought a pack of Star Trek three three quarter figures. <laughs> I hate Star Trek, um, <laughs> but they will come in very useful for something down the line. Dun, dun, dun. I bought a Star Wars Clone Wars blue cowboy alien because he looked cool. He looked cool, and he, he did looked, actually look like something out of Galaxy Rangers. He really did, and as I'm going to make some Galaxy Rangers three three quarter figures at some point. Nice works for me. Um, I also bought one of the I can't remember the name of the company but one of the uh, Sonic the Hedgehog three three quarter figures well three inch figures um, he's actually really cool mm, very articulated yeah it's more than I was expecting I was having to look at some of the other ones uh, probably pick up most of Wave 1 what, that's, was, what was Wave 1? Uh, Sonic Silver Shadow and Tails mm. um, and then Wave 2 it's got the Metal Sonic in it <laughs> and Dr. Robotnik so definitely going to be having them. Does it? Uh, do they have um, uh, supersonic? That's 
Uh, that is a future wave. Uh, that is coming. Because I, I could imagine you getting a few of them and just having crazed Sonics all around <laughs> your room. <laughs> oh, well, if I get one of them, what I will be doing is going in there with a little red Sharpie, just putting in the craziness into the eyes from the old Fleetway comic. The one that quite happily shouted out, Hey, Rosie, it's time to die! Awesome. Uh, the one that beat badniks to death with other badniks and didn't quite care about the fact that there were small fluffy creatures inside them. That Supersonic is awesome. Fair enough. Mind you, the one that could survive in space from Sonic X was quite awesome too. Yeah, yeah, but... But that, that Supersonic didn't get removed from Sonic, sent to a parallel universe where he was then named The Demon. I freaking love Super, Fleetway Supersonic. It's awesome stuff. Nice. Um, I also got... What did I get? There was more to it than that, I'm sure. Mm-hmm. Uh, I bought the Searchlight Power Core Combiner. <coughs> He's alright. Uh, <coughs> during the little trip, I bought something from someone. Oh, yeah. I, have a, I have a Henke Skywarp. Yes! I thought you said it was uh, something different than hentai. Ganbo or Gente or... Gente. Gente. Yeah. As far as I'm concerned, it's Henke. Okay. Uh, which means I only have one more Henke character to get. I just need to get Henke Thundercracker, and I have every Henke figure that was released. Nice. You're leaving the expensive one to last. Good lad. Oh, yes. <laughs> Apart from Dark Skyfire, I don't have him. Mm. But then, I don't see me getting him. Bit pointless. Uh, and then I bought myself Ghostbusters Season 1 on DVD. Oh, nice. I bought the all three of the live action turtle films on DVD for three pounds. Ah, nice. Ah. Three pounds is worth it for the first film. Second film, I got free. Third film isn't on there. Honest governor. Third film's awesome. And then I bought the entirety of Robotech. Hmm. Ooh. Found it in. Where the hell did I find it? Oh, in HMV. For stupidly cheap, so looking forward to watching that. It's supposed to be a terrible dub, isn't it? Uh, I haven't actually sat and watched it yet. I'm sure it's the early Robotex are supposed to be absolutely terrible English dubs because they basically the the guys dubbing it just don't have a clue. Ah, so it's the the guys that did the headmaster's dub then. Pretty much. Ah, oh, Billy. Go outside. Okay then, said Grimlock. <clears throat> yeah. Um, <sighs> turn to something else. Oh yes, that's right. And then I bought myself Sonic Adventure on Xbox Live. <laughs> Sonic motherfucking adventure! With goddamn motherfucking achievements! Are you enjoying it? Well, I've only played it for about two hours. I haven't had much time to want to sit down and play it, but oh man. Oh, it's so good. Man alive. Honestly, it. Um, I've done. Let's see, I've done about a third of the Sonic levels. All of Tails' levels, all of Amy's levels, all of E101 Gamma's levels. And I think I'm probably going to end up playing it even once I've completed it and got all the achievements. Just because it's one of those games that you play just for the sheer joy of playing. It's great fun. See, that's generally how I. I felt about uh, <coughs> sort of Halo and ODST. Hmm. Well, I still haven't finished Halo yet. Just don't have time to play it. Yeah. And because I'm playing it through on uh, Heroic, it's quite bloody difficult. Yeah, that would have so, been normal first. Right. So normal it's first. helping uh, extend the <coughs> playtime of the game. Mm. Well, I've got uh, Red Dead Redemption sitting there, and I've got. Bioshock uh, 2. Uh, oh, God, yeah. <laughs> Oh yeah, forgot about Battleshock 2, right? Um, no, uh, Resident Evil, not Resident Evil. Dead Rising Case Zero. Oh, yeah. I've got that sitting there on the Xbox to play at some point. Um, I'm not bothered with that one because I'm not going to be playing the Dead Rising 2 game for a while. No, it's going to be a long, long time before I get a chance to play that. Yeah. Um, and I think that's everything I've got in the last week. There's what? some stuff I've ordered but hasn't arrived <laughs> yet, so just wait for them. By the way, just I want to quickly say thank you to everyone's favourite stabbing artist, Jaiti. <laughs> Jaiti. 
because he helped me in some Cayman Rider problems I had. Oh, no. And then I want to stab JD. Don't, don't mention the KR words. And, and Andy, <laughs> and Logan Blaze, and Tyree, and Vangelis, because I know he's a fan as well. Because I've bought two Cayman Rider figures. We'll talk about them next week when I finally got hold of them. Bastards. It's now a good time to make my confession. <coughs> Do it. Ladies and gentlemen of the internet, I have finally relented. I've started watching Carbon Rider. And it's good! <laughs> so good! <coughs> Ladies and gentlemen of the internet, I have not. I am staying clean. Oh, we'll, we'll, we'll get you sorted. Yeah, we'll Part get of you. the cult of Carbon Rider is to make more people watch Carbon Rider. <laughs> We're going to get some of that shit red in your veins. Yeah. I have watched Kamen Rider Shin. Yeah. I did enjoy that. I thought it was... I've watched the first three episodes of the new series. Um, oh. Yeah. Uh, <sighs> double. Or W. Or, oh, if you were on. Double O. Or... No, I haven't, got, I haven't got to any of those ones. Um, right. But I should be getting sorted with those. Okay. To cool. a certain blazing gentleman. Um... <laughs> but yeah, I've, I've seen um, the first three episodes. Blazing gentleman who has milk bottles. Don't even. Um, but yeah, first three episodes, episode four should be sometime this week. Um, enjoying it a lot more than I thought I would. Yeah. I thought I'd give it a while, I'm actually enjoying it a lot more than I thought I would. Yeah, it's uh, it's one that I do want to sit down and start watching the seasons, hmm. the series anyhow. Yeah. But yeah. So there you go, there's my confession, Andy, J- JD, Timey, or <coughs> anybody else, you finally snapped me. <laughs> Bastards! Yeah. Oh my god, they got Stuart a Cameron Rider! You bastards! So, uh, yeah. So, from now on, I'll give myself uh, something next week. Next month? I think we're going to have to start calling it Masked Rider. No. Yes, I just want to hear. Because I'll hear you. I want to hear the hatred boil from three separate parts of the country. No. Yeah, I said go for it. We just said call it Masked Rider. Yeah. Masked Rider double. Yeah, Masked Rider. No. Alright. Stu! Hello. Do you want to take us on a trip, a magical trip, a magical musical trip? See what I did there? No. Okay. I didn't see what you did there. Musical trip. It's like musical, but with news. Is he saying he wants me to read the news? Read the wait, 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 wait. Do you hear that? Do you hear that? It almost sounds like there's a jingle approaching from 11 <coughs> o'clock. Everybody listen. was a jingle. Yep. Came up faster than a shark on a full-on charge. Ah! And then we jumped the shark. Yeah. Well, we jumped that shark in episode two. <laughs> um, so we've got a fair few bit of news this week. Um, <coughs> one of which I've purposely taken out of order because it's going to create the most uh, discussion, I believe. Um, so, firstly, as of the news this morning, um, the Transforms Collectors Club have released some previews. Okay, maybe they're not the best previews in the world. They're literally black silhouettes oh, right, um, yeah. of the new club figures. You've got Sideburn, <coughs> yep. who is a repaint of Generations Rock Rod. Yep. You've got Cheetor, yep. or Transtech Cheetor, who is a repaint of Animated Blur. Yep. Really want to see that one. <coughs> I want to see what the face looks like. I want to I want see, what, see how yeah. much animated aesthetic they've given it. Yeah. And uh, <coughs> the one that I just know is going to burn my eyeballs out, G2 Ramjet. Sold. Um, <laughs> <laughs> um, strangely off the classics you know the, the Chug uh, yeah, Ramjet, Ramjet mould shocker um, there's no pictures of these properly I'd say they're literally just black as, they're just black shadows yeah but, but, uh, bring it on I want to see what they look like um, no, especially the Ramjet sideburn may swear whether I may or may not get a subscription next year <coughs> that's worth it hmm, not much else to say about that really Um so moving on to the next piece. I was going to say though, in the subscription may be useful if what we have planned pans out. Yes. So that's certainly worth considering. Yes. Um, so the next bit of news then is there's been new images released for Transformers Prime. Mm. Um, they're all pretty good. You finally get to see a bulkhead. 
Yep. Uh, I really like the looks of Bullcat. Um, you get a few other, other odds and sods. You get Bumblebee's alt mode. That's right. Not just the usual Camaro, actually looks pretty cool. Um, <coughs> this is the main thing that bugs me. Still no Ratchet alt mode. Yeah. What the deuce? The thing that bugged me was when I was looking at the, the pictures, um, they seem to be using two different types of rendering on them. Yeah. yeah. Some of them looked cartoony, sort of Stormhawks-esque. Yeah. And other of them, the rest of them seem to be kind of like all high shine, yeah. uber realistic. Yeah, I think it's just one would be concept art, one would be show models. Mm. Yeah, I, I just want to know which one's which. Because yeah. the, the, the bulkhead <coughs> looked quite nice. Mm-hmm. Um, I wasn't quite sure about the chin. It's bulkhead though, bulkhead will now forever have that mm. massive jaw. Yeah. Um, but I liked his alt mode and his robot mode mm. done in that sort of Stormhawk key yeah. kind of inclined style. Um, <coughs> but I don't see him working in the uber high shine style that uh, Bumblebee <coughs> and his alt mode seem to have. Yeah. Yet again, we're still in the dark with Brian. The, uh, as I said on the forums, it, the the Autobots actually, um, although I'm not completely sold on them, on the designs, because you know me, I, I love my big blocky robots, uh, they are they are looking better than I thought they would, mm-hmm. whereas the Decepticons seem to just be a bit too weedy and lanky. Yeah. They, yeah what the hell's up with they remind, they remind me of, um, do you remember uh, the, point, the points of a for- Points of Authority uh, video that Lincoln Park did with the... Very well. I thoroughly enjoyed systematically removing Lincoln Park from that video and then using it as a Apartment 26 video. Hmm. But, you know, the, the <laughs> you remember the actual video. It was yeah, those yeah. skinny robots versus the bigger dudes. Hmm. Yeah. And how did those skinny robots fare? Not mm. very well. No. Yeah. It just makes me think of that. So unless they're going to seriously... Uh, depower the Decepticons they need to bulk them up a bit yeah it's uh, yeah as per usual it's we need to see the show mm. of course we need we to see what's going on with it yeah. and Hasbro seems to be doing everything within its power to uh, not show us the show yeah which is starting to get a bit worrying yeah all I'm going to say is Renegades mm. that nice load of footage has already been released what do you think <laughs> of Renegades the look of Renegades um, I don't like some of the designs they've done mm. I don't like how the Cobra Commander look. I don't like how the Baroness seems to be about 16. Yeah. But yet again, I'm willing to see what it looks like. <coughs> Give it a go. So, yeah, it might be really good. I might be able to look past the designs I don't like. Yeah. yeah. Well, do, uh, you have seen Gotham Knight, haven't you? Yes. Did it look to you like the first story from Gotham Knight? Which one was that one again? It was that, one that of the was three the, kids. The hand drawn. Yeah. The hand animated. I should say. Mm, yes, some of the movements do. Because that's the first thing that came into my mind, that sort of strange, not they, quite they've not in done, proportion. Well, they've not, basically what it is, is they've just, they've not done any clean-up on yep. the <clears throat> animation cells, it's just the guy's drawings. Mm. Um, so you get that scraggly kind of thing, and he's obviously, he's <sighs> in a lot of, well, in a lot of the Gotham Knight one, the, uh, the forewent proportion to help with um, actual animation. Yeah. So they could get a, a purer kind of flow. move and flow with the animation. Okay. Now you know. And Doink's half the battle. <laughs> G.I. Batman! See, that's where I went with that one. Um, <laughs> next bit of, next couple of bits of news are about um, figures getting released or are released. Um, Takara is doing an animated Ramjet in the Activators line. Yeah. So another repaint of Starscream there. Um Pretty cool though, if you've got a mad hankering to get all the Seeker clones. In activator size. Well, in any size. <laughs> yeah. I'm sure some people would be happy to get them in any size. I suppose you could always have them at the back of your collection pretending he's really far away. I'm not small! <laughs> I'm just far away! <laughs> um, and the other bit is uh, Generations Dirge and Blur are out in Hong Kong. Damn you, Hong Kong! Well done, Hong Kong, you're going first. <laughs> Send me one. Um, I can hook you up with someone to say, well, <laughs> send you random emails every day. Are they about a um, a, a Polish prince that needs uh, you to take some of his money off his hands? No. Okay. 
Yeah, need to tell. Oh, yeah, I'll just send you my bank account details. Doop, 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 doop. Oh, no, my money's gone. Oh, no. <laughs> um, but, yeah, there's not much else really to say about that. There's no pictures of the Ramjet yet, but it's kind of the same. We, are, we don't know what he looks like. Yeah. And special. Uh, and that's for Dirge and Blur being out in Hong Kong. Great. Well, are they out in Hong Kong, or are they out in Hong Kong? No, oh, they're, they're out and available to buy. In proper shops? Yeah. Right. Are there proper shops in Hong Kong? <coughs> yes. I got told by uh, a guy that um, came back from Hong Kong once in store. He said that uh, he couldn't buy a PS3 in uh, Hong Kong. And I said, why? He said, because even in the legitimate shops, they open them up and chip them before they sell them to you. <laughs> <laughs> Bless the People's Republic. I um, thought I was genius. <laughs> uh, PS3s and Predacons. Oh, the Chinese will chip anything. Uh, next up, I'm actually going to report a bit of news about a movie figure. <coughs> Shocker, eh? Ow. Um, the... <coughs> oh, <coughs> Dying dies, yeah. Um, Costco exclusive Bumblebee, which right. is the Battle Ops one. Yeah. Um, images have been released of the packaging. Right. Um, I've only mentioned it because I really quite like the paint job. Instead of the usual yellow, it's a metallic yellow. Oh, metallic yes. Metallic gold. Um, and I kind of like it. And then from in with the box as well, you get a Legends, one of the races two, the red one, and a Legends Bumblebee, done in the same colour scheme as the big one. Okay. Uh, it's not a fantastic box, and obviously I'm not going to pick it up, but I just thought it was worth mentioning because <coughs> I really like the paint job on it. Fair enough. Yeah, I think that black and the gold really works. Main problem I've got is yeah, it's a movie toy. Uh, yeah, that's that's it. Dear God, time. so so done with the movie line. Yep. Um, speaking of movie line things that we don't need, images have been released of the Fury of Bone Crusher slash Starscream's assault box sets. The only reason I mention these is, oh my God, what a complete utter waste of time these box sets are. Yeah. It's a Voyager. Why? Of the why? 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 Delilah. Delilah. <laughs> She's done in Halloween to mix. That's exactly what I was thinking. Yeah, me too. I don't know what the real words are. Hmm. Um, but yeah, oh, when it comes to the movie stuff, it really is just come on. Well, this is getting worse because Fury of Bone Crusher is um, a repaint of the Ironhide with more guns. Right. And so that's <coughs> the Ironhide from the first movie. Yeah. With more guns and a Bone Crusher, which is repainted. So that's two first movie figures. Yeah. Repainted. And then the other one is Starscream and the Red Racist one. I can't remember his name. I don't want to know Skins. his name. I don't want to know his name. And it's a horrible desert repaint of him. So he's got brown splashed along the joint like he's been driving in the dirt. And Starscream. But at least that one's the, the second movie one. And it's just like, why are you wasting my time with this? Yeah. Shelf warmers, ahoy! Oh, close to <sighs> Let's move on to something better, shall we? Yes. If we must. Uh, more images have been released of Generation Tracks. Oh, yes. Um, I'm still not sold on this guy. Nope. No, no. I've, I've got to admit, I, I looked at the pictures and I've, I've always kind of wanted the Tracks because I did kind of like Because it's Tracks, yeah. Yeah, I did kind of like the, the guy from the original series, but I don't like the, uh, the fact that he looks either... Stumpy or fat because of that. It's that chest, that yeah. chest yeah. slash under the car. They, they've done, they've done themselves a disservice there because the yeah. the actual underlying figure looks yeah, really it looks good, really nice. but it's just that big chunk there. It's like it, they should have at least put like a little hinge in it so some of it could drop down. Yeah, yeah. and it could just lift up a little bit. Oh, horrid, that chest. Oh well. I could get over the paint job. Oh, yeah. Well, I could, I could, the, the flames, on the, labels are yeah, yeah, the, yeah, the flames on the front will be easily replaced. And I could, Mr. I could, be, I could get away from the fact that it's not a Trans Am. Because that was a yeah. sexy, sexy car. <laughs> but, Trans Am with wings. Yeah. I wonder, I'm, Even I'm, sexy. I know the wings are on the robot mode. I'm wondering if the wings are going to be on the vehicle mode. I hope they are. I don't I hope so. Because that'll be cool. I can't see why not. Yeah. Um... Because we've mentioned images of Generation Tracks, might as well have mentioned the fact that there's been an absolute buttload of new official images released in the last week or so. There really has been. Absolute buttload. Um, two new power car combiners. Yep. One of which is a tank, one of which is a jet. And we'd already mentioned from that picture, the jet kind of looks like Jaxus. 
yes. from that face. Yes. We'll need to see this a bit better, but from that distance angle slash whatever, it's Jax. Yeah. Hey. <laughs> I'm going to pick him up. Um, but he's a power core combiner. He's going to be tiny. And I I'll don't... fling the minicon down the street. Over the tank one I might keep because I like that idea. That has a giant grabby claws in there. Grab it, grab it, grab it. Gonna grab you. Gonna grab you. <laughs> There's also stuff like um, Skullgrin. Yeah. Looks nice. What do you think of the Skullgrin head? I quite like it. Yeah. It's a nice way of going, well, you know, he doesn't have an organic skull for head, but we still got kind of a skull. Yeah. The thing I was most impressed with is the, the triangles. Yes. The way they've just repainted them so they look completely different to Stractors. Yep. That's a thumbs it, up. It's a very, very, very well done repaint. Mm. It's not um, just swapping colours out. Oh, it's... no, it's... Yeah, they've, they've put a bit of thought into it for once. Yeah. Um, <laughs> God, I sound really bitter today. <coughs> and there, there is an absolute buttload of them. Um, if you've missed most of them by now, what are you doing? Did you finally get to see the Generation 2 Laser Rod Prime? No, I've still not seen it. Mm. I want it. But I don't, don't want it in Prime Colours. I want that thing neon to the max. You want Toxitron, don't you? I do. I want, I want Scourge. We've already got a Scourge. I can't see them releasing two characters called Scourge. Unless they have... No, good point. Well, they've been they had this one, painted this one black and called it Scourge. Yeah. And then the other one actually got released with the way that Prime says it in the Rebirth. You know, Scourge! Nah, it'll probably just be Nemesis Prime. But yeah. yeah. It'll still be, you know, everybody go, Scourge! And I'll go, Scourge! Because he's much better than Nemesis. It's got really strange proportions to him. Yeah. Yeah, hmm. I'm gonna wait for a slightly him. bigger photo. But I couldn't yeah. see it again. It's it's disappeared, hasn't it? It really has. Is it not one of the previews from the Collectors Club magazine? Though? No. Hmm. Weird. Because it was on the. I tried to show you the pictures. Because yeah. it was on with all the Power Con combiner yeah. stuff. But it weird. isn't there yeah. anymore. It's just weird. It's gone. Um, the next bit of news then, for our third party fans. Yeah. Perfect effect. Soundwave, possibly. Yeah, it's a possible. But it's from possible. that picture, it's Soundwave. If that's not Soundwave, I'll, I'll eat that. Is it Soundwave? Stand. Is it an add-on kit for Soundwave? Is it some kind of Legends figure? Is it a tiny little cassette figure that is Soundwave? That can go into a bigger Soundwave. What? But needless to say, yeah. Perfect Effect is doing something with Soundwave or as a Soundwave. Yeah. Mm. So expect it to be expensive, but really nice. Very nice looking. Uh, image. <clears throat> Hmm. Right, question. Go on. For third party. Hasbro's just released a sound wave. Yeah. Right? In the generation slot. Yeah, yeah. Perfect effect and now going to release a sound wave. Yeah. This is gonna be the point where Hasbro turned on and goes, Ah God. Because I looked at it this way, right? The Junkion figure that uh, Fans Project were gonna bring out yeah. never showed up. Never yeah, seen any more photos. Uh... That Hasbro Suddenly Doing have a wrecker. a wrecker. Yeah. It, it seems a bit too much of a coincidence for me, so I do feel that Hasbro's st- paying a little bit of attention. They just Maybe they are, they are actually mentioning, look, guys, we're going to do this, so... Shh. Yeah. But well, I don't it's, know. It's, it's maybe just a case of... Um, they're, they've maybe let um, some of the third-party developers test the water. Yeah. Because, the, you know, obviously times are tough, and basically they don't want to spend a lot of money on developing something that no one's going to buy. Right. I mean, I know we bitch and whine about shelf warmers for the movie stuff, but, you know, that's all going to be bought by dumbass parents who want to keep the kids quiet. Yep. Um, well, uh, yeah, there's a the person that you dealt with when I was in your shop today. Trying to buy the game for his kid. Yeah. Um. But, yeah, the... Uh, I need to talk about this later. Yeah, the um, you know, it just maybe they they just sort of like with that junkie on figure, they saw that there was a lot of people getting hyped about having a a junk a new junkie on figure, and yeah. Hasbro kind of went, okay, just you guys shut that down, we'll do a proper one. What I'd like to see is how long the development cycle is for a figure. Mm. Yeah. How long it takes from getting from the concept to get into the shelves? Because yeah. with the amount of time it, we've. I always think of the Sideswipe Sunstreaker moulds hmm. from the first time we saw them to them getting released. Well, that was a year and a half. Yeah. Easy. I'd, to be honest, I'd... this is going to sound really silly because obviously I don't know how these things are made, what hmm. goes into what, but 
you know, surely you'd have someone draw the designs. Yeah. And then, <laughs> um, <coughs> you know, draw different angles and views. Mm. And then surely you'd just have somebody put it together in a 3D program and figure out where bits go where. Or even just, because um, I know you can make a 3D model and you can get a special printer thing yeah. that um, actually makes the 3D model yeah. for you. I mean, just do that and then take it to pieces and figure out how it's going to... Go on, I love a 3D model. Yeah. 3D printer. So would I. So a certain tabletop war game company has been doing that with their plastic balls for quite a few years now. Yeah. And that's why they've really jumped up in the last few years. <coughs> in the quality and price. <laughs> Um, we better move on to the last couple of bits of news then. Okay. Yep. And one completely confuses the daylight out of me for the other. Um, go with the good one. Toys R Us have recently said that the UK's number one best selling toy for them in the last 25 years, so Transformers. Yes. Hey! Yay! Did you see some of the other ones that were in there? No, go on. Pogs, man. Pogs. There was one year Pogs were the best seller. Pogs. Man alive. Feel old yet? Yeah. <laughs> nope. <coughs> 1990 was 20 years ago. Doesn't bother me. Good man. Um, then you're a better man than I. Yeah, and me. Um, He's also a younger man than me and me. Oh, that's true. <laughs> it doesn't matter because I'm immortal. Here he is. Born, Born to, to be king. king. He's a prince of a universe. No! <laughs> Run up until the Kurgan takes his fucking head. Yeah. Kurgan's not going to take my head, he's a pussy. Kurgan's going to take your face. Oh, that low. Should we get under the horrible bit of news then? Go on then. Go on. This is what was interesting because this was revealed shortly after the Toys R Us news. And, um, same day, a few hours yeah, later. Same day, a few hours later, which even pushed a certain member of our team, Mr. Yep. Cruff. To contact Hasbro about this and try and get a query. Now, did you get any form of reply? Nope, no answer as yet. There's a shocker. I shall um, wait till the end of the week. If there is no answer, I shall continue with my journalistic mm. endeavour. Because I will point out, as we go along, this, you may think that I made sense of one. They just said, I did not. I sat before the best letter I could and did it out of journalistic integrity. Yes. For I want to know. What's going on? Yeah, um, in a journalistic question. So, for those who don't know, it has basically been sold, basically <laughs> been told that the UK will be not getting any further of the Generations toy line. So Sucks we ass. barely got line wave one. Yeah, and now we're not getting the rest. <coughs> well, wave two seems to be kicking about in certain parts of the country. Certain parts. Yeah, um, and then wave three and four we're not going to get. No. Nah. Right. So, Hasbro is. For whatever inconceivable reason, um, put more money in Europe for the yeah. Stealth Force and yeah. RPM. Th- this is the ultimate thing that bugs me. Stealth Force. Now the reason we mentioned Stealth Force is because Stealth Force is mentioned by name. Yeah. We will continue to keep stocking and delivering Transformers brand products such as the awesome Stealth Force. Stealth Force, bunch of wannabe mask vehicles. Yeah. Behold, my Optimus Prime has some guns pop out of his hood. Right. Well. So we're getting that drivel, which is also partially continuation of the movie stuff, mm. yeah. instead of the Generations line. Yes. Which is open to both older fans and younger fans buying it. Yes. Just because you don't know who Drift is, doesn't mean you <coughs> want to buy a Drift because you think he looks cool. Same with Straxus. Oh, that guy looks cool. He's got a big axe. Whereas we go, oh, that's Straxus. Give me. Give me, give me, give me. Give me, give me, give me, give me. Right, I am going to issue... auto assembly. I am going to issue a call to reason here. Oh, I, uh, by all means, say what you're going to say, but because uh, I'll probably back you up in it. Number one. With the UK, we should be used to this for now. Yeah. <laughs> Number two, in a more serious note. I don't think university did very well. In all honesty, in this country, with the that and the sporadic releases that the uh, the generations figure has the figures have got in this country, yeah. they're probably not selling. And Hasbro have made the business decision to say, 
No. For all intents and purposes, Hasbro UK is nothing more than a glorified warehouse. Yeah. They get sent the stuff and then they send it out to the different shops. Number three, we've got Reveal the Shield coming. You, and nobody even knows what that is yet. If it's got the G1 style rub science, which is the yeah, which is basic the thing, idea. There is a good chance it could be that, but nobody knows what that is yet. No, no, this is true. And number four, I buy most of my Transformers from Kapow and eBay. Yeah. P- purely because I've not been able to buy anything from the shelf for ages now. Yeah. Ages. I think I think um, if they are <coughs> going to pretty much take something like this away from um, English buyers, they should maybe do a um, an English online site for that sort of stuff. Cost money? Not going to do it. See, I want to know. I want to see the numbers. Right? Uh, if anybody has the numbers, please, please send them in to us. I know that sounds like a long, a long shot, but mm. I really would like to know how well the universe and generation... Not universe, sorry. Yeah, yeah universe. Well, anything. Any of the chug lines. I want to yeah. know how well they've done. Because I know the movie line has actually done very well for itself, yeah. which is why it keeps running. Which is on. down to people... Yeah, it's got the Transformers now in it. I'll yeah, buy it for yeah, the kids. Buy kids. Yeah. Um, but on the other end, we've still got shitloads clogging up the shelves. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Still shelf warmer. Yep. So I want to know what the numbers are. I really, mm. really want to see them. Because maybe it's just our town, but I know the the local, well, I was about to say the local toy shop, the only toy shop we have in our town. Yeah. I know, I'm pretty sure they've still got the Voyager classes they still had when the movie came out. Yep. They are going nowhere. Yeah. So but, but they did sort of devastate us. <coughs> I thought it was funny. Go figure. Um, Just because they were selling it cheaper than everywhere else, wasn't it? And uh, actually, we didn't talk about it earlier on. About our trip out. Um, we'll do that after the news. Uh, yeah, we'll do that after the news. Um, we were in Newcastle. And <coughs> it surprised me how much the Wave 1 scouts are still kicking about shops. Yeah. All right, seriously. Wave 1 yeah. scouts. Oh, well. He only knows because there was no Sky Stalkers. Nope, there was not. <laughs> Neither was there any Brimstones, which is what I'm after, because I want a motorcycle gang. Mm. Um, or any hubcaps, which I really want. Oh, I want a hubcap. <laughs> <coughs> um, but yeah, that's. I think some people have overreacted. Just a little. And you are right, we are the UK, we should be used to getting butt fucked. Then again, we shouldn't be getting used to it, should we? We shouldn't have to be getting used no, to it. No, we should. I think, I think people kicking off um, well A I think it might make um, Hasbro if enough people do it kind of go yeah, but they've got to do it no. in the right yeah, way yeah, there's, yeah. There's, there's, there's not the sending abusive emails and, yeah. you know um, going doing all that crazy stuff and mm-hmm. blasting them on forums or whatever yeah. Yeah. but just actually getting together maybe even starting something as rational as a petition yep. and just saying look this many people want to buy this yeah. line of toys. Please, please, please keep it coming. Yeah. And if you got all the, I mean, all the people off, like the, you know, everyone from the UK that's on, not not our forum because <laughs> there's only like five of us. <laughs> like you know, Moonbase Two or Nerdsphere or whatever. Anyone from yeah. Yeah. from them that likes the Transformers stuff, likes the Generation stuff, that um, has a, you know. A real want to be able to buy them in this country. Yeah, I mean, um, it, it's just—it's a weird little thing. And to be honest with you, is there any proof that uh, this is actually the case? Well, that's it. Yeah. You know, all we've had is, uh, yeah, we're not really going to be releasing anything at the moment. Yeah, it's—it's uh, you know, it's a bit of a weird one, but it's still—it's still, it's still annoying. The, the thing that oh, frustrates is, it, me the most is stealth force. Yeah, it's the fact they've said that by name. Yeah, they're it's just trying to plug it because they know nobody's going to buy it. Maybe. Uh, no, I don't even think the M sold that They one. think if they no. might mention it enough. They're just the Hot Wheels collectors. Mmm, mm, I'm a Hot Wheels collector. Shall, shall, we, shall we cheer you up with a little jingle? Well, I'm going to wrap up the news. And all I'm going to say is, Sex Panther, they've done tests, you know. 80% of the time, it's guaranteed to work. Every time. <laughs>
Sheila would have a little natter about something we did over the weekend. Really? Can do. do we want to do that? Want to talk about that on air? I'm going to eat some much more stuff. Not that. Oh. The, the other thing that we did. All right, yeah. The other thing that did involve the pigeons and the jam. <laughs> yeah, All up. right, Stu, you were asleep. You Thank you. You didn't miss a thing. Not a single thing. <sighs> there you go. We went to Newcastle. That we did. We met up with Andy and Dave from the Moonbase 2. And yeah, Aww. them two douchebags. I forgot I forgot to put a question on the the listener questions thing for them. What? what question one, why is Superman terrible? <laughs> question two, what's the greatest mech show ever? Question three... Um, besides Transformers. <laughs> question three, what would Superman look like driving a mech? <coughs> <laughs> That was that was actually yeah that was the three questions yeah, I had. Thought it would be. Yeah. Question four. Just for you, Dave. Why the hell did you buy Batman Brave and the Bold on uh, on the Wii? Because yeah. yeah. he's a sick sick man. And the other reason we're asking all these questions is because hey, on their show, oh oh, they said something on their show. Yeah. They did. Did they? Shorts and hoodie don't go together, do they? Huh? <coughs> Kinds of do when you're rocking these calves. Calves of steel. Not happy with that, like. Don't make me declare war on another podcast. I'll fight war on two fronts. Oh my god, there'll just be uh, others and this is the loyal and surrounded by cannons as the other podcasts come for us. Bring it. Every now and again, Radio Free Cybertron just surreptitiously sends us crates of supplies in the vain hope that the United Ally of podcasts don't see them. It's. <laughs> okay, if, if... Cybertron's little podcast show. They're uh, just occasionally looking around going, oh, oh, we've already just got here, we've already just got here. Whose side are we on? Who's side? We're with Moonbase 2. And it's just us sitting there going, no, join us. Welcome to the island. Until until we <laughs> finally go native and start killing people with sticks and, you know, wearing their skin. I shall merely here quote Cortez, the great Spanish explorer, and his friendly words when he shot many, many Mayans. There, are we done? We're finished banging sticks around. <laughs> Moments later, they fired the cannons. Nice. I freaking love Cortez. Man was a nutter. <laughs> okay. <laughs> but yes, rant aside of them complaining about my attire. Do <laughs> shit. That was good fun, though. That was oh, a yeah. Fun, really fun fun it was like a little mini AA. Yeah, it was, was good. Got to run around. Talk about geeky stuff and comics. Yeah. <laughs> and and the and have all you can eat Chinese. Yeah. That was good Chinese. That was good Chinese. Yeah, well, Damn I'm, good buffet. What actually. I'm concerned about is that apparently we went to Newcastle and we bought all their toys. Yeah, like hell. Uh, and then we ate all their food. Oh, like hell. And then we stole all their women apparently. Which, uh, <laughs> yeah, that's what I did. Yeah, I mean, I wonder why my bag was full but I got home. Hookers, I, I, I hookers can't, are plenty. I can't comment on the grounds it may incriminate me. Yeah. <laughs> I, uh, I, I, I can't a, help it if they follow me home in a line. I was, you I are was the Pied Piper of feminism. <laughs> <laughs> they are just blowing your whistle. Doodly doot! <laughs> you very hope get your pipe blue. Oh, hey! Yeah. Uh, yeah, I, I was, the ass. I was knee deep in Geordie Hookers. Yeah. Or to be more precise, the corpses of Geordie Hookers. Shh! It wasn't a 10 15. <laughs> um, there was, there was, for me though. I've been with a hooker today. <laughs> there, was, there was quite the, the comedy value of sitting in a bar in Newcastle drinking a bottle of Newcastle brown ale. Yeah. I was sort of right about that. Although I was quite shocked when they said, uh, do you want to go to the pub because it's round the corner? That's not my idea of a pub. That's a fucking mansion. Yeah, that thing is mental. Ah, oh, it's good though. That was good. I, I really like the idea of that was their idea of round the corner as well. It was also nice to let Dave know that I really hate Superman. You, you feel better that you've got oh, that yeah, chest. It's, it's, it's like, you know, hiding something in a relationship. It's best to, you know, best to reveal it as quick as possible. Sorry. And he's still talking to me, sir. I, I don't like Superman. He doesn't like Flight of Dragons. Eventually we must fight. To the death? Oh, yeah. You'd have to Geek be. Mortal Kombat! Oh, blood, guts, bodies on the floor. Maybe we can do it as a pay-per-view. You weren't there, man. You weren't there. We can do it as a pay-per-view. You versus Dave and me versus Jeremy. <laughs> Which one of you will be fighting Ladies to the and gentlemen, uh, boys and girls. music? Both. <coughs> the soundtrack to the entire pay-per-view. 
Nightmare rules. Except rules. It sucks! <laughs> we went to Newcastle. It was good fun. Mm -hmm. But do you know what's not good fun? When I do this. Rob, what's next week's homebrew going to be? <laughs> I'll tell you at the end of the show. Oh. Good comeback. Wait, what's been good from thing? No, I have... No, actually, I, I, I'm going to have to think of something. I do have an idea for one, but it's going to have to wait. Okay, okay. Oh, next thing I want to talk about, then, is the Power Core Combiners. See ya. And the Huffer and the Smolder. Neat one, Tidy. Because I've noticed something here. And I, I want to bring this to everyone's attention to see if they... Ah, yeah, you mentioned the... the to see if anyone else you? feels the same way. Now, if anyone has the Smolder and Huffer figures, I want you to get them out. Now, press pause. Press pause. Get them out with the minicons and everything. Have you got them? Good. Now, take Smolder's minicon and attach it to Huffer's chest. Take Huffer's minicon, attach it to Smolder's chest. Doesn't that look better? Doesn't that look like it fits a hell of a lot better? Doesn't it look like the minicons were swapped for some bizarre reason? Oh, yeah. no, I just wanted to bring that to people's attention. I, want to be, I want to get a little bit more interaction, you see. I want them to pause and play the podcast. As I instruct. Do my bidding, but, puppets. Do my bidding. But without Chopster, he wouldn't be so neat and tidy. This is true. We probably wouldn't have come up with the entire neat and tidy thing. So I'm not saying it was swapped for the worse. I'm just saying. Does now look like it was swapped. Mm. Just while we're on the subject of neat and tidy. Um, there is a box at work for shoes to go into. Mm -hmm. Go into your bed and its tagline is neat and tidy. So every time I say it, I go, neat and tidy! And then... <laughs> Your co-workers and various people on the shop floors so look at you and go, Okay. Not that bad. I think I don't. Maybe don't say it. And then you point at it and go, Do not look at me. Das is verboten. But I did tell somebody at work that the till must be neat and tidy when they leave it. <laughs> and I even pounded the counter going, Neat and tidy. <laughs> nice. Oh yeah. It's not to get into my real life. It's kind of scary. What can I say? We've created a monster. Go forth, my monster, and destroy. <laughs> uh, Alright then, we'll move off that then. I'm going to quickly do this. Due to technical problems in our one year anniversary show, a certain Stone Cold Skywarp's recording went a bit silly. A bit strange. I thought his missus had removed his testicles and just <laughs> went with the flow. So in the interests of things being nice... I'm now going to... Let's be nice! <laughs> I'm now going to half his normal talking speed so everyone can understand it. Oh, I, I was kind of shocked when it came on. You were shocked. Worked fine when I did it. <laughs> no, Probably so going to do the same thing again. But the, the upload just did something weird to it. So... Hey, this is Stone Cold Skywarp, also known as Stone Cold Skywarp, also known as, you guessed it, Stone Cold Skywarp. Here's to the guys at the Old Oil House, happy first year guys, and here's to many more. <laughs> breaking sound did sound fun, I wouldn't make more sounds like that. <laughs> <laughs> Can I miss the soup? No. Shh, shh, the big boys are talking now. As we don't have anything in grind our gears this week. Can I do some of the grind my gears? No, we, we should have something in the grind your gears. There was nothing there today. Was there something in? Yeah, I put something on. All oh, right. <laughs> we'll, well, we'll save it till next week because I don't have anything anyway. All right. Okay. I was just going to comment about, you know, you know what grinds my gears? People who don't like Nightmare. <laughs> oh. So instead, <sighs> we're going to pull out something that we've already done once before. Maybe twice. <laughs> Bouncing about out. <laughs> It's the Transfan Community Watch. Billy, billy, boo. And the Transfan Community Watch is a Radicon. I'll link it, obviously. It's animated Skybite by Storm Vapor. Built from an animated Atomic Lugnut. I love Atomic Lugnut for the random. <laughs> I'm Atomic Lugnut! <laughs> All Hyrule Megatron with my neon colours. I think, I think quite like the, the design of uh, the Skybite face. It's, it's freaking scary. And that, that bet he still writes haikus. Oh yeah. Well, how weird would it be if he's got a really posh, upper-class accent? 
that face just starts going, hello there. And how are you today? Shush, I'm trying to write haiku. <laughs> that would be awesome. I'll bite off your face. <laughs> you are tasty, yum yum. Oh, that's wrong there. Yeah. You are tasty, yum. Get in my belly. <laughs> <laughs> Not the best haiku I've ever heard. I have heard... But that's how I feel that character would do stuff. Yeah. It would be about eating people. And the uh, the actual kit bash, the, the custom. Good it, it is God, really the good. sculpting is gorgeous. I see some uh, really nice green stuff work. I the, think uh, once it's all painted up and stuff, I'll, we'll probably come back to it and mm. have another look at it the and remake it. The face has just been carved so nicely. It's so... Oh, that's nice. I wish I could uh, sculpt. Me too. I wish I could do something on that level because yeah. that is freaking gorgeous. I, I wish somebody who I knew wasn't quite so stony enough so we could do kind of that kind of thing. Aye. Yeah, I do think we'll probably come back to that and have another look at it. Mm. I say, I've linked it, so uh, go and have a look because it is freaking awesome. Can I mention my trans fan community watch thing as well now? Go for it. Um, I haven't linked this yet because I only saw this this morning and I had to go to work. So I might do it in the next couple of days. Um, but it was, this was front paged on Shot Packed. Yep. Due to the fact that it has something to do with a certain somebody on that, on that web comic. Yep. Um, somebody has done a Shattered <coughs> Glass Ravage from the Alternator Ravage. Yes. So it's a white Jaguar XK. <laughs> I'm waving! It's, it's a really nice job. Um... <coughs> Considering white, I know is a pain in the ass to paint. Uh, it's really nice. Um, I love it. I want one. <laughs> yeah, really want that. You could, it, I'm getting to the point where it feels like you could probably do <coughs> some glass ravage kick to the faces, and I'd be like, "Hmm, I don't have that one yet. Give me one of those." <laughs> <Pah>! <laughs> yeah, it's uh, it's it. Yeah, it is a bit awesome. But I said the paint job on it's really nice. Yeah. Cool. It still looks good in both modes. Um, <coughs> even the, the white for the car looks nice. Mm-hmm. And the blue for the legs and everything. Uh, and the weapons. Jobs are good. Yeah. I will link it in yeah, the next well, few days. Link if it not, with... hopefully one of my colleagues will. Yeah, link it with the show notes. Go up. <laughs> show notes. Like then, show notes. <laughs> then, note notes. Um, so, before we move into the listener questions, then, I only have this to say. Next week, we shall be doing. The underrated robot for the month of October. Oh, I forgot everyone, about that. Everyone better be ready. Oh, I've got mine, I remember. Yeah, so have you got yours, Rob? Maybe. Shall we jump into it then? No. <laughs> <laughs> so that's a no from Rob then. Would you like to just get him upside the head so his brain starts working now? <laughs> now do you have an underrated robot for the month? <laughs> oh, delayed action. Power mm. Ranger timing there. Kamen Rider. No, it's happening already. Mass Rider. Mass mm. Rider don't count the medals one, two, did, and three. Did you hear that? That there was an explosion <laughs> round about the Glasgow area. <laughs> don't stop him, um, please. Yes, yes, I do. I've got an underrated robot. Okay. Stop having sex with your sister. That's an interesting one. I think he's won. Yeah, yeah. I've... No, I was shouting at my rats. Right. I'm not even going to edit that out. I'm going to leave that in. I'm going to leave that in, and occasionally I'm going to uh, just play that little sound clip just again and again. But and that is the opening sequence. Yeah, I'm going to change the music now, so it's going to be a da 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 da, and Rob going. Stop having sex with your sister. Da 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 da. Stop, stop, stop. Da 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 da. Having sex with your sister. Okay, should we move on? No. Uh, Stu, do you want to take? Who's your uh, underrated robot yeah, for um, the month of October? Due to the fact that I recently purchased the Last on the Records graphic novel. Indeed. I'm so choosing, did I. I'm choosing a character from that. Right. So am I. Yeah. Uh, I'm choosing Kickoff. Ah. Due to the fact that A, he yells die slag liquor and B, all the modes are for wimps. The underrated and robot of the month? Yeah. Because um, apart, apart from that, I don't think he's appeared in anything else. I don't think so, I don't no. think he, I think he may have barely appeared in the advert, but even then I doubt it. Mm. He was obviously not stronger, better, more alive. Mm. Oh no, he was, because he kicked the daylight out of that borehole, so, didn't he? He did, he did kill borehole completely. Pull his head off. Rob, who's your choice? 
He's a uh, ball hole. I think that dude <laughs> deserves a little love. I mean, that guy got beaten senseless by a, a Transformer that didn't even <coughs> have an alt mode. That's right, because alt modes are for wimps. I mean, that poor bar steward was a Decepticon thinking, oh, I've got it easy here against a, a puny Autobot. And he got his ass well and truly handed to him. He got his whole board. And apparent, yeah. and a, apart from just the fact that he got his ass handed to him and killed by this Autobot, the poor bastard was named Borehole. I actually thought it was an insult. It took me a while to realise <laughs> it was his name. His name, yeah. So I, I think, uh, I think he des- he deserves some uh, love. He deserves some attention. Do you know who I think deserves more love and attention? Who? The long-suffering classics character known as Dipstick. <laughs> Is that just because Wrecker's rookies blow up his shit all the time? And he's called Dipstick. <laughs> and he's got that little sort of knight helmet. And he looks like he's just shit cup. <laughs> Noticing a theme with our choices this month. There is, there is a last stand of the records theme. Maybe yeah. it should be renamed the underrated last stand of the records character of the month. No, because they are robots. <laughs> if one of us had gone for variety, 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 <laughs> then that would have been of severity, <laughs> that none of us were prepared for. <laughs> Haku. It's because I am a rap god from beyond the moon. No, but would you ever cut back to the cut to get a cut of your cut? Because even though uh, they're there, actual lyrics. Um, <laughs> true story. No, actual lyrics are. <laughs> it's, it's for death metal stuff and, uh, and for thrash metal and stuff, and when you forget all the words, you just go. <laughs> anyway. Put that cookie down. Put that cookie down. Put that, put that, put that, put that, put that cookie down. Now. Shut up, you idiot. Put that cookie down. Shut up. Um. Yeah, I'm going for Dipstick, because Dipstick rocks, and he's a shit cup, and he's called Dipstick. Where does okay. he dip his stick? You don't want to know. Fair dudes. They're wreckers. What makes them think it's going to be a day there? They're wreckers. What makes them think they're going to be coming back? Impossible odds, crazy brain bullets. What can go right? <laughs> <laughs> so, with that out of the way, shall we move into some listener questions? I think we should. No. All right, Mr. Rob, would you like to take the first question? <sighs> Please. This chilli chocolate's really starting to get rid of the cold. It's good, isn't it? <coughs> ah, no, Becky's got the cold. I'm sorry. Didn't mean to give you lurgy. Lurgy? Lurgy. My brain isn't thinking. Okay. Um, first of all, we have a, a character who uh, frequents our questions quite often. This man is named Tricky. <laughs> <laughs> I love saying his name. Though. He's like every time he says Tricky. <laughs> this is so funny. I was chunking at his own vomit there. Which is Tricky, I've heard. Roo, woo, woo, shut up. <laughs> right, about four years ago, I was asked to write... I'll eat a pigeon. <laughs> Shh. About Watch four it. years ago, I was asked to write a third-party guide for a video game. If you were asked to write a guide for something, what would it be? What do you have enough knowledge and insight into to, ch- to charge cash money for? Sonic Adventure. Dollar dollar bills, y'all. Sonic 2 and Sonic 3 and Sonic 3 and Knuckles. Yeah. Pulse Man. Pulse Man for the Genesis. Does it just have to be video games? No, no, no. I'm just thinking of stuff I know lots about. Um. Mm, mm, mm. American Gothic. I've got, I've got a pretty, I've got two, which pretty much go hand in hand. Yep. Um, games Workshop stuff and how to repel women. <laughs> <laughs> That's genius. Oh, oh, oh! Just and, have another and, one. And facial hair. I'm pretty good with facial hair. Mm. Yeah. Lovecraft. I can probably write a good guide to Lovecraft. Um, considering my writing skills are quite crap. Mm. I'll have to take a leap on this one. But I think I do know quite a bit about um, <coughs> the fantastic show of uh, Space Bomb Beyond. Mm. Uh, I reckon I could do quite a nice guide to that. Um, possibly um, <coughs> what's Durr. it called? Um, Ultraviolet. Because I, mm. I have watched that quite a lot and I've done a bit of research into it. I've just thought of another one. I still need to watch that. Flight of Dragons. <sighs> and, uh, I don't know, games-wise, I don't think I've... 
I've got a game I've <coughs> played that much that I'd feel mm. confident making a uh, a thing for. Unless it's how to die incredibly quickly <laughs> on Firefight in Halo. I could do that quite well. You do seem to have skills with that. Yeah. But I already know what them skills are. It's the I must stand still to shoot skill. We will train you, don't worry. Hey, hey, if I'm firing from the hip, I'm running around, but you've got to take your time when you're going for a headshot. How good would it be if you Jeremy... You will learn my young Padawan apprentice. How good would it be if Jeremy released a book said, A Guide to Not Watching Nightmare? <laughs> no, the only thing Jeremy could release a guide to is how to be a lucky swine and find the cheapest possible things in garage sales, which are near enough complete. That's true, that's true. Is um, that a gold-plated USS <laughs> flag? How much do you want for it? Ten dollars. I'll take it! <laughs> Um, I uh, here's another question from uh, Tricky, and um, this one I have to admit on the forums I bit my lip, I <coughs> sat on my hands, but then I just had to go ahead with it and add the comment of Bouch Kabow. Um, meanwhile, have you ever considered using Japanese eBay? It occurred to me last week that Japan get a load more toys than we do. And eBay being eBay, eBay, there will be a, a glut of plastic crack available for a good price. I gave up after 10 minutes. But should I get my mate's Japanese wife to help me out, or am I wasting my time? Oh, bow, 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 wow! Bow, wow, 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 wow. I need a Japanese wife to help me out. <laughs> Oh, but Mr. Stu, can't do it. It's okay, I've come to fix the plumbing. Magic wow wow. That would be a horrible voice for a Japanese wife to have. <laughs> I'm coming to fix the plumbing. Oh no. I'll live with it. Last night she was the man. <laughs> <laughs> what you got, sister? Magic bell. The twins? Wow wow. Question. Um. Japanese eBay, I wouldn't like to try. No. I have been on the Japanese Amazon using Google Translate. Ah. And it was bloody hilarious. <laughs> really? Well, the first words I read were, you are new, thus you buy. <laughs> Genius. Mm, I really like that. So I would say, if Google Translate would work with eBay, go for it. Try it. If you have somebody who knows Japanese very well, Try it. Magical wow wow. Magical wow He's going to hate us for this, isn't he? Oh, God, yeah. Uh, if he doesn't already. <laughs> By now. Um, but I would say... You're probably not going to get too much out of it. Because you need to find... Well, you have to write in kanji... Yeah. What you're looking for. I don't think you can translate what you're writing. Yeah, you can yeah. translate. You just translate what you're reading. Yeah. So it it would it would actually entail you scanning through an incredible amount of crap before you got to what you wanted. Yeah. Indeed. Even if you could narrow it down to <coughs> transformers in the toys section yeah. or yeah. something. Yeah. So uh, it might. I mean, you know, all all bow chicky bow wows aside, if uh, your mate's got a Japanese wife who speaks and reads fluent Japanese or whatever, then. Try <laughs> <laughs> no, I have a wife. I don't need a Japanese one. She won't mind. <laughs> I think she would. She can get the Japanese odd number of days wife. on the weekend. She could do the dusting. <laughs> the pair of you could then watch films. A Japanese wife does dusting. I've just got a thumbs up from my wife. Excellent. If there's, a, you, if there's a Japanese lady listening who wishes to be my second wife so she can do the dusting while my, me and my first wife watch films... Please get in touch. What about Russian wives? No. Korean? No. Well, Korean, it's like potluck. It's 50-50. <laughs> no, it's got to be Japanese. Can we move on, please? I'm terrified. What about Thai lady boys? No. Nope. Would you buy one of them to do the dusting? No. Nope. What about Greek lady boys? Please ask her the next question. Why is he so obsessed with lady boys? Because he's a puffer. Thought so. I just demand that you have a lady boy doing the dusting. But you didn't know. It's a meaty surprise. Yeah, so uh, give it a try. And not the lady boys, the actual eBay. <laughs> someone who speaks it. But... You heard it here first. Rob says you, you should give lady boys a try. Oh, uh, <laughs> chicka. 
Oh, wow. No, just, no. Just, um, <laughs> you know, just remember, Tricky, if you do actually do this, try not to think about Bow Chicky Bow Wow going through your head whilst you're searching for stuff on eBay. Because, you know, just make a fool of yourself and give us something interesting to laugh about on the show. Hopefully. <laughs> do it. Do it! <laughs> um, okay, so, next question. Mm-hmm. Is from Megas Tater. <laughs> hey, Megas Tater. As usual, two questions. This man needs to learn how to count. But considering his numbers, we'll let him off. So, Star, what <laughs> other brands would you like to see get the chug treatment? <laughs> what? What other brands would you like to see get the chug treatment? So, update no, I mean, before that. Star. Well, that's that's his that's, number that's, question. That's that's what he's put instead of a number. So, no, he's there. Uh... It's an asterisk. But yes, this is question asterisk. So, oh, what God. would you like to see get the chug treatment? I don't like Mega Stage anymore. Personally, if it's um, if it doesn't have to be Transformers. Mm. I would like to see the same level of detail and sort of articulation going to proper Gundam figures. Mm. And even the uh, transforming ones, like uh, Wing Zero and Epion. <coughs> I'd like to see them done in the uh, the Chug style. Fair do. As long as it, they don't bring out the fucking shitting bastard in Impulse. Fucking hate that mech. The boy's got issues for no good reason. Joe, what would you like to see um, in a chug style? Well, obviously, I've kind of already got a chug style for G.I. Joe with the 25th. Yeah, yeah. So I'd like to see some of that come back. Yeah. And maybe them to do some of the crazier things. Like... Kid Daddy Destro. Well, no, because that's convention exclusive. <coughs> I'm thinking more along the lines of Toxo Vipers and Sludge Vipers and mm. Septic Tanks. Um, just because I think some of them in 25th would look pretty freaking sweet. Um, I don't know, really, because... A lot of the stuff that there is already, I kind of like. Yeah, yeah, I mean, oh, yeah. Um, I mean, one one springs to mind. I actually have just thought of something else that I'd like to see in that style. What's that? It's something we haven't got. What's that? It's probably never going to be again. What's that? Mask toys. Yeah, I'd like to see some. You kind of, I see, you, well, you know, the specialist tracker. Yeah. From the 25th G.I. Joe. How stuff. good would it be if you had a full G.I. Joe line that was just mask? I'd, I'd probably be interested in some of those. Yeah. I'd love to have Thunderhawk again. Mm. It, it's just, it was a kind of crappy design, but it just, <laughs> it was so cool. Oh! I, I didn't tell you, I was in your shop earlier today, Stu, and I saw Thomas the Tank Engine in the Boulder Hill playset. <laughs> it's not Boulder Hill, <laughs> completely. <laughs> it's a boulder that runs down a hill. Don't care. It was a Boulder Hill playset. I saw it at the corner of my eye and I just went, Yes! Thomas the tank engine goes round the train tracks. Where Mask is waiting for him, the terrorist bastard that he is. Uh, um, but yeah, I second the uh, the Mask idea. Is there anything Thundercats. Else? Yes. I want to see Thundercats done in a He Man 2000 X style. Mm. I just want them done so they would fit into that. That would be nice. That would work. Um, other than that, maybe Visionaries. Mm. Yes. Visionaries done in That's what I scale. forgot, yes. Done with that 25th type of uh, articulation and yeah. stuff. Yes. Um, i just, I just like to add, this is going to the next question, this is not <coughs> another statement. Mm. And, Halo Reach is pretty good. I'm not quite sure how that's a question. <laughs> yes. But you're right, it is pretty good. Yes, it is. Reach around. Uh, percent. How little do you <laughs> care about TF3 news? What's TF3? <laughs> yeah. Uh, maybe well, I should fail this one seeing as I'm the Ron Burgundy of the group. Mm-hmm. Um, the reason I'm not doing Transformers 3 movie news is... It's a couple of things. Basically, I'm not that interested in it. <coughs> no. Um, and I'm purposely avoiding it as much as possible. Because a lot of that news out there has spoilers. Yes. Plus, I think if I did, it would take up a lot more time. Yes. And I just don't think it's worth it. I can boil it down much easier. I don't care at all. There you go. I'll go see it when it comes out. But before then, I just don't care. 
Yeah, it's uh, that's why. Yeah, when mm. the, yeah, I think it's like a couple of a podcast we know. Yeah. Transformers Three stuff just there. Yeah, I mean, I know that uh, WTF does uh, movie spoilers. Mm. Moonbase Two is doing movie spoilers. We just don't see the need. Yeah. If you want spoilers, get it from them. Yeah. Because we're not going to be picking up much of the movie news, if any. We just don't care. Um, I'm not quite sure what the symbol's called, but it's arrow pointing up. Ah, oh, I know what he meant. <laughs> um, <laughs> what's just the, arrow pointing up. What is the best non-TF figure you own? I feel we've answered this. I also have a feeling that I can't remember what my answer was. <laughs> yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> At this point... It's probably changed from the last time because of yeah. something else I bought. At this point, it is probably either my three three-quarter inch bison figure. Of course! Because that's shit. I <laughs> love it to bits. Yeah, respect my respects, Joe. That's an actual G.I. Joe figure. Yeah, it is. It's a proper G.I. Joe. Everything. It's great. It's awful. Um, or, I don't know. Uh, for me, suck then, well, you can't, if you want to think. It's... Oh, 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 oh. My Skeletor, my three three quadrant Skeletor. <laughs> awesome. And my classic, well, not classic, my 2000 X Skeletor. Um, and my original 80s Skeletor. I'm gonna. All my Skeletors. I'm gonna <laughs> rock the boat here with not going for a Gundam figure. Don't rock, rock the boat, baby. Don't rock the boat, baby. Um, rock the boat, it's rock the boat, either one rock of the boat. three the next figures. Right. Three. Um, three. My McFarlane Master Chief. Mm. Oh, with the knife. Yeah, because he's very articulate and he's very poseable, mm-hmm. and uh, he just looks the dog's bollocks, basically. Well, he's, he's really, mm-hmm. really good. Do you want me to blow your mind? The reach ones are slightly more poseable. <laughs> the wrists have uh, <coughs> two to three joints in them. Nice. Yeah. Um, my Final Fantasy Advent Children. I can't do it. My voice can't go. Sephiroth. That's the one. Um, I just needed the Sephiroth bit. Shut up. Um, Santa Claus. Uh, so yeah, it'd either be my Seth, my Sephiroth, or George. George, George of the Jungle, strong as he could. No, no, it's uh, it's an, it's another George from well. <laughs> George, George, guessing, George of the Noble Team. I'm no. guessing it carries a gun heavier than me. I'm guessing it's a. <laughs> He's from a jungle. It's a Tauren Shaman. Oh, not that one then. From uh, one of the first, I think it's one of the first lines of figures that the um, they brought out for World of Warcraft. Now, is it a World of Warcraft figure, or is it just one of the Warcraft figures? Because um, the World of Warcraft figures have been god awful. It. I think he. It's that one behind you. The I big think, brown bull man up there. I think he is a World of Warcraft one, but it, the first line of figures they did, there was only about three or four, and they were. Fucking beautiful. Yeah. Hence why I've got three of them. <coughs> um, the, uh, I mean, you know my feelings on the actual game. Yes. The stuff they've, the stuff they've done is just, it's not very poseable, but it's so beautifully detailed. Yeah. I just, I had to buy it, and the fact that I got discount on it didn't, didn't Yay! hurt. Maximum prizes. I actually saying that though. I have the Necromancer mm. from the Warcraft line, and that thing is gorgeous. They, they were really, really well sculpted. I don't the care that I can't. The ones have been bloody awful. Oh, yeah. Like the one I pointed out to you. Yeah, yeah. The, the null. Yeah. Was, that was oh, horrible. Was terrible. But uh, yeah, that, that'd be mine. Mr. Stu? I don't know. Um, Kind of because it has sentimental value is my Advent Children Vincent. Because... Uh, <laughs> no, it's Vincent. Because uh, Vincent. Amanda gave me that. Mm. Um, for those who don't know, man is literally my sister. Um, not in a traditional sense. Most not, not a natural. You know, most not slice two bits of podcast together to make dirty sounding sentence. Um, All I'm going to say is remember that she isn't actually my sister. So yeah, yeah, I know. Uh, uh, Will she, might have a problem with that. But she's not. Yeah. She's not. Uh, she's not your sister in the traditional sense. Exactly. More like in the way that uh, black people say it. <laughs> just to just to paraphrase a film. Wow. You remember that bit in uh, Zoolander? Yowch. Wow. 
Even then, that's uh, that's an edit there, I think. Um, no, no, I'm going to leave it in. I'm going to leave Rob sounding like a good-hearted na- the naturist. <laughs> good-hearted <laughs> racist. I'm sorry, that bit that bit in Zoolander just makes me laugh every time. Well, so I, don't, I don't mean brother in the fact that they were like my brothers. I mean it in the way that black people said it, because I think it means more. <laughs> because he's a good you googleizer <laughs> I love the little you googly. Uh, um, so yeah, it's over my Vincent. Oh, black people. <laughs> yeah, black people. Um, I had yeah. great articulation. <laughs> They're my favourite toys. That, now that is bad. <laughs> yeah, that's, that's good edited. Yeah. Um, so yeah, it's over Vincent. Oh, it's going in the shelf with draw the drawers with uh, Dave's Nazi comments. I don't Just really keep get going. to say anything. Keep going. So it's either the Vincent or I think because of the amount of effort I put into getting him built and sorted properly <coughs> um, is Master Pento on his uh, chariot. Ah, because I mixed Pento. and matched from different sets to get that built up to what I liked. It means I quite like Master Pento. Okay, so um, next we have... Oh, wasn't there two questions? Yes. <laughs> Hence why I said... Oh, what noble question are we up to now? Uh, we're on Pound. <laughs> Does that mean we charge him for these answers? Yes. yes. Okay. Uh, who is driving? I think these ones are all supposed to be done yeah, in quick because, succession. Because I know the answer to this. Um, that's his next question. So, Pound, uh, who is driving? Speech mark. <coughs> Bear is driving. How can that be? Exclamation mark. With all of us in the back seat, who's driving this thing? Obviously. Uh, who's driving? Bear is driving. Bear is driving. How can this be? I don't know. It's kind of a weird thing. With both of us in the back seat, who's driving this thing? I've just fucking told you, it's Bear. See, when when um, I first read the question of who is driving, you know what I got going through my head? Miss Daisy. No, the uh, <laughs> the very first episode of um, eighteen. When, Miss Daisy uh, wasn't in eighteen. When she the, she when was a got, crappy PA brother. When they've got the uh, what you call it. Um, uh, the reporter that becomes their sidekick. <coughs> oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. She's their first sort of client, and she, they've got her on the plane with her, and she just turns around and goes, "Is the pilot really insane?" And uh, Murdoch just comes walking in from the cockpit, going, "Elwetta, Murdy, Elwetta," and face has to stand up and take him back to the cockpit. <laughs> and Hannibal's just sat there with a big old cheesy grin with his cigar, going, "We like to think so." <laughs> Brilliant. <laughs> But yeah, that's that's all the questions from uh, Megastator. Uh, obviously, he did not pay attention in primary school when they taught numbers. Is that question finished now? Yes. Going off from his earlier questions, I suggest the following. Big American party! <laughs> <laughs> you want the truth, you can't handle the truth. Oh no, Tom Cruise! Axel Foley, your title! <laughs> 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 They work us like dogs! Save us! <laughs> work now! Work now! Um, <laughs> Would with Ellen DeGeneres be guest starring in your own little very gay show? <laughs> oh, God, we need to do that at some point. Right. Um, Clerks Animated was awesome. I need to watch it all again. Greenwich Mean. Hey, guys. Congrats on the on the whole year. Thank you very much. Woo! Hey, we're a year old. Where's our presents? Ha! Oh, oh, this man. He knows numbers. Number one. As... TF3 is going to be the last Baytastic film in the series. Explosion. Brackets, hopefully. Um, do you Close think... brackets. <laughs> Close brackets. Do, do you think we'll return to the more classic designs in comics and toys? Brackets. The boxier style is what I mean. Close brackets. Uh, or do you think the Baytanical designs will always be part of Transformers now? Hmm... I would, I would like to think that things would start to go back to normal, but with the way they've been shoved into, well, like the designs for Prime and how a lot of the comics have tried to go all baitastic, I think they're probably here to stay. I would be inclined to agree. Until we get somebody else picking up the movie license and doing whatever the hell they want. Yeah. So, yeah. I, I, I unfortunately think, which is... I hate them, the movie designs are here to stay. Yeah, I think yeah. Prime's a good example of what's going to be the future and the ongoing designs. Yeah. Maybe torn back a little bit. <coughs> but I yeah. can definitely see them reducing the amount of detail <coughs> in it. Mm. You know, that sort of very strange limbed 
flimsiness, but yeah. I unfortunately think that the movie designs are going to be a part of the Transformers for quite some time. Yeah, unfortunately. Oh, well. we've still, um, got, we've still got generations. Yeah. Oh. Oh. No, we <laughs> oh. Uh, question two. As Mr. Gruff did not read this out for the anniversary show, it's a reason for how this. does it feel to be likened to the closest thing to the TF thing the TF fandom has to rock stars? Are we? I hope not, because Jesus Christ, if this is what rock stars do nowadays. Yeah. I, I think we need to get some bitches in here and some booze and. Terry Tate. Terry Tate. And then, then we can be rock stars. <laughs> Well, Terry Tate, if you're listening, um, get on the forums and PM me and I'll give you my address <laughs> for the next show. Well, I think in this situation we have to ask if you're allowed what? to have booze, drugs and rock and roll. <laughs> it's not really rock and roll if you ask, ask, ask permission. Precisely. Exactly. Hence why I'm not asking permission. Always ask forgiveness rather than permission. Yeah. That's what me and Bill Clinton always say. <laughs> Good old I'm, I'm sorry, but we cannot be likened to TF rock stars. No. When there is a Transformers rock star out there, his name is Scott McNeil. Yeah. Yeah. And uh, Stan Bush. Yeah, as we mentioned, Stan Bush because was, he is an actual rock star <laughs> connected with the fandom. I yeah. was going. I was going to say that you know that there is no way in hell we are like that just because there are so many other people who probably a live a lot more of the rock and roll lifestyle mm. um, and b are. Ten times more famous than us in the fandom. Oh god, yeah. I mean, we were talking about this before because I did not want. I'll be honest, I didn't want to put this question in there. <coughs> I didn't because it makes me uncomfortable. Mm. I don't like it. it. It makes me go. Mm, mm, no, we're not at all in the slightest. Is it, is it one of those same moments where somebody recognises you? Yeah. Yeah, we're not you. We're not quite ready for that, are we? No, I don't like it. Well, I do. I quite like it when someone recognises me, but it is one of those, uh, what? Moments. And they always recognise him. Yep. The Bruce. It's because he's the egocentric one. Yeah. They see the guy with the head so big that he's had to <laughs> squeeze his way oh, into the venue. Oh, that must be Gruff Lock. Yeah. It must be. He's <laughs> currently whopping his cock off the side of a ladybird. Take that, ladybird. It is that small. Killing entire civilizations with my member. Die, ladybirds. Well, that's highly inappropriate. Yes. Marvellous. I feel my job is done. Good night, everyone. <laughs> I think his drugs are starting to kick in, that's what yep. it is. No, so, yeah, um, I, I, would, I, would I, love, I would absolutely love to be, um, you know, likened to a, uh, a rock tell star. You what, tell you what, it's just never going to happen. Next day, A will throw a Fortress Maximus out of a window. Yeah! Hell no. Yeah, no, 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 we're going to have to live the rock star lifestyle. No! And I can, shall snort a just... line of powdered Supreme Cheeto. Uh, as long as you scoot from the convention going, my name's Dr. Grufflock, I do the Supreme Cheeto! And yeah, uh, Rob's going to sit in the corner just injecting himself with all 13. <laughs> He's there to tell you what he goes past. I got these cheeseburgers, man! Fuck your lorector. I done some all 13! Hang on, if that's the case, <coughs> can, can I change my, my rock and roll lifestyle thing? If you want. Can I spend the entire weekend bladdered and dye my beard pink? Yes. Awesome, I need a cowboy hat. Well, what I'll do is I'll just sit there playing electric guitar, shredding away, until I feel a bit melancholy. I'll sit there with the piano, just singing, In this river I shall fade a black. Ding, 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 ding. Can we have groupies as well? Depends. <laughs> that implies that there are women, <laughs> women who would be interested in us. Uh, hang on, I'll reword that. That would imply that there are women who are interested in me. Everyone knows I'm the fat one. <laughs> That's right, oh. I'm the ugly one. I'm fat, we got no yet. Alright, should we uh, should we start dragging this to an end then? Mm-hmm. Dragging me the opposite word. Alright. Mr. Rob, what's the homebrew then? You home brewer. I've got one thing to say before that. There is driving. Um finally The Rock has come back to Transformers. Yes. Um we uh, we do have a winner. For the Did You Know competition. <gasps> ah. uh, is it me? It won't. The picture won't actually be finished for another week. Um, due Ooh. to the fact that I've only just managed to get it scanned. Thanks to uh, a friend of mine and not to the unhelpful people at Staples. 
Um, just get, a, get that little dig in there. Um, so I thought, you know, might as well just uh, give the winners now. And then they can just message me on the forums with your addresses and I shall send you the picture because I am going to do it twice. I'm going to get it do. printed twice. Are you going to sign it as well? I am. Wow. <gasps> It'll be worth something in like a million years if people ever think I was an artist. Um, but no, I've, uh, I'm going to give it to uh, Tricky. Tricky! Tricky uh, gets everything! No, his, <laughs> one of his comments was the one that made me laugh the loudest. Mm. So Tricky's getting a picture. Which one was that? Um, right, the uh, the first one that made me think that Tricky was in the running was the uh, the fact that he used my boy. Um, he said, um, did you know that Rob was one day looking at Jetfire and the awesome lever was made? <laughs> made um, and the other one was... Did you know that Rob has caused more edits in the show than anything else with you? <laughs> Did you know I haven't had to edit a show this much since the first episode? <laughs> and the the other one was um, the other one was uh, Rob knows the way to Amarillo. Um, Rumours have yet to be confirmed that he hugs his pillow every night. That one really made me laugh. <laughs> uh, the second person to get one would be old Jai D. Jai. Is this because if you don't, he'll stab you? No, this is this is because he put so much effort into the one post he put on that. I thought it, I thought it deserved. Word for word, what was it? Good God, no! That take too long. All right. It was basically the fact that I have a, a, a pocket dimension in my skull, which um, have little clockwork men in, which worship Hot Robimus, and are. Uh, of, and who fear the uh, the bringer of fire and evil so they have to keep things neat and tidy or he'll come <laughs> so, <laughs> so so you just need uh, Mr Tricky <coughs> and Mr Jai Yeah. So, I don't know why I keep wanting to say yeah. that in a Jason Statham voice because you're a geezer so if those uh, two could Jason um, Statham send me a message with uh, their addresses I'll get them posted as soon as they're finished go on Tricky Jai Dai. So congratulations, both of you. You made me laugh very much. I hope you realise you were in a contest. <laughs> I would just think it'd be really funny if uh, one of them won without realising there was a prize. Just thought it was a random topic to comment yeah. on. You never know what thread fun. we're going to take and use as a <laughs> competition thread. So, homebrew for next week? Homebrew for next week. Whilst you eat your sausage. Nothing wrong with a bit of sausage. Didn't say there was. If you could have any of the big, bricky, you know, god awful, terrible Transformers that we all seem to love, you got any one of them with sort of like the uh, McFarlane esque articulation. Ooh. And still transforms really nicely. What would it be? But it wouldn't if it had McFarlane-esque articulation. It's a use your imaginations. All right then. I'm talking. I'm talking about something that's like as almost as articulate as a masterpiece, shall we say? Okay. But okay. still transforms really nicely, rather than you know they haven't sacrificed. Yeah. So, so you know the characters that just lie down to transform. Yeah. That sort of thing. They, they do it? that, but they're really articulated. <laughs> yeah. Who Who would it be? And why? And why? Dipstick. There is no dipstick. Only zoo. Only zoo. <laughs> <laughs> right. <coughs> Let's close this down for the night. Before you die. Yeah. Actually, I do want to mention one thing before you do. Yes. Um, ladies and gentlemen of the internet, I am forming a legion of nightmare vipers to fight against the evil that is the Jair Bear. If you and wish to join the David nightmare the vipers, gnomes. then come to the forums. There will be a night vi- nightmare vipers recruitment thread. Together we will crush the Jebba. And what forum is that? The, the well, Everybody knows what forum it is by now. Would that be www.oldoilhouse.co.uk? Yes. Otherwise known as the Old Oil House. Search for us on Google. We're in number six in the listings. Oh. Also, do it. 
This, Do it. This I recommend. <laughs> Do this it. Right now. Come on. I'm um, here. Commander, shouldn't you be going that way? I don't know. Shouldn't your outfit be less gay? Anyone else want to get the last word? Anyone going to try? Cobra. Bobby. A.K.A. Kev Dambi. Thank you. You have been listening to the Old Oil House. Come visit us at www.oldoilhouse.co.uk.